What's up, people of the internet? My name is Nathan, and today, uh, we have an unfortunate event. Uh, Magmasaur is dying, Diane is dying, they're all dying. Uh, wait, where's my house? That's the Magmasaur right there. My house is here. Look at all these monsters. You know what? We're not gonna wait. Let's get in here and check if we take damage. Oh, we do. Oh, we do. Oh, we do. There we go. Now that we have our hacks on. Uh, we are going to head out. Uh, we're moving on to the final episodes of Terraria. We are heading to... Wait, do we have the... Yeah, we do. Let's put this stuff on. Uh, we are heading to... Ba -da -ba -da -ba, lunar biome. Um, lunar... Let's head north. Um, <clears throat> welcome to one of the final episodes of our Genesis. Uh, now that we're cheating, um... Like, we're literally, from these next three episodes... By the way, the series will be over on the 30th episode. I'm taking it my goal to end it on the 30th. Um, because Genesis will be back next year whenever... Um, what's it called comes out. When Part 2 comes out, you can expect that. I will definitely be playing that. I'm hoping to get Sword Storms, aka Nate, to play with me with that. That would be nice. Um... But right now we're worried about this, and cheating was not on the retrospect of starting the series, but as we went along through the bog, and we had trouble taming that creature, and then we moved on to the Arctic, and we had trouble taming that creature, and then with the ocean and having trouble taming that creature, the volcanic, I literally couldn't have done it without cheating, because my computer would have died, and it nearly did, by the way, and then we also move on to... Ooh. Uh, now, I've never been on the Lunar Biome, or was I ever on the other one? So, this is the biome. What are you? Now, I have Leave Me Alone on. So, nothing will kill me, and we're gonna... Okay, nothing will attack me either. We're gonna explore. We're just gonna have a fun episode and not worry about death. And I love this idea. Uh, wait, does this thing break just while being in it? I don't think so, unless I get attacked. So, we should be fine to just look around uh, and explore this area. What are you? Oh, these are like the enforcers. These things are in, um, what's it named? Extinction. This place is cool. Lunar biome is epic as hell. But, um, I just want to get this straight. Cheating was not a plan of mine, but it just kind of happened. Because playing Ark, oh, there's low gravity. Playing Ark normally is fun if I have a friend. And it's kind of a struggle to play this and deal with the troubles that you normally have to deal with. If that makes sense. Like, playing by myself, I have found that it's really hard to tame things. It is really hard to collect things. And it's just overall not a fun time. And I did have fun recording, don't get me wrong. This was still a fun series to make. And I don't regret it for the world. But cheating was inevitable, is what I'm trying to state. Maybe I'm beating myself up too hard over this. Maybe you guys don't even care that I cheated and spawn stuff in. I just know that in my heart, I hate cheating, and it's one of the things that I strive most to skip and not do. Like, I love to play things legit. Like, if I can, I will play things to the end of legitness. Don't tell me I just get executed if I fall out of here. The radiation scorching you. Get in the shaded shadow. I don't know what that's about. That's what a radiation suit's for. Dummy. No, I'm kidding. But, uh, we're kind of just exploring. I wonder what's up there. And so, this is how it's going to go. This episode, we're just exploring the lunar biome. Nothing to... It should be like 12, 13 minutes of me just walking around here, looking around. Like, some of these... So, these are just the cool raptors, and these are the cool things. And then, next episode, we'll test um, the new dino. And also, we'll start preparations... Like, we'll test the dino of this biome. And we will also start preparations for the boss, which will be on the 30th episode... We'll beat the boss with spawned in weapons, obviously. And we'll clap him, and it should be a good time. And I don't know what we do or how you defeat him, but I want it. Okay, okay, okay. Can I make this gap? Yes or no? I'm gonna go ahead and say negative, but we're gonna do it anyway. Radiation is scorching you again, the shadows. Well, it's not scorching me enough. So, joke's on you. So, it seems like this biome, in case you didn't notice, is in space. We are literally in uh, the astral, astronautal 
plane? Is that even a word? Astronomical? I don't think it's a word. Uh, I assume you can go down there, and I don't want to go down there, so we're not going to. Oh, unless we fall and die, and then, and then we're going. Cool, we made it back up. Um, but I just wanted to look around, because it's not about filling about, out my map, because once I uninstall Arc, which I will be doing, because this is a big game, and I want my gigabytes back. But uh, once I uninstall it, um, I will need uh, all the map data, I think, deletes anyway, so... Along with this world, by the way, so once I uninstall it, it will be gone. So don't ever expect to go back and watch, or me to go back and check the worlds. I don't plan on saving the file. Actually, I could. You know what, I might. I might save the ARC file just so one day, if I want, I could go back and just explore it. But we'll see about that when time comes. I don't see a lot of cool dinos. I just see a lot of the same T-Rexes, and... Now, you probably can fly around on one of those Arceusers, or whatever they're called. And that's what next episode will be. It'll be us just flying around on those. But I wanted to try those out in a separate video. Again, next two weeks of videos are going to be really short of Genesis. They are going to be short videos. Like, considering there's not much content, I'm going to die. I wonder. Will I live if I hit the floor? No, not the floor floor. I'm talking about like this. If I hit this, will I live? It says the radiation is scorching you get in the shadow. But I'm not dying. Where even am I going? This place is so cool. Oh? This place is cool. Sorry for being quiet. I just wanted to listen to the ambient sounds. Like, listen to them. I want to get that glitch over there. For the voice log. I want to see what it is. This place is awesome. Please say these things are geysers. That was loud and scared me. Don't do that game. This game is so cool. Like, if you don't think that this is pretty, then... What are you doing with your life, man? This place is so cool. Now, Genesis was not meant to be played like this, by the way. I'm playing it like a dummy. I have cheats on, but... I just wanted to have a good time. And this really... <gasps> I see something like a ruin over there. What is that sound? And this game is scaring me. Alright, let's hear this voice dialogue. That witch was a bit of a physicer. The makers of the genetic simulation use this area to test physics long before you survivors are let in. If I know human nature, and it's something I'm getting better at, this area got turned into a proper biome when someone realized they could turn the test zone into an alien moon and pop off to the pub early on a Friday. Hmm. So this used to be a physics testing ground. Fascinating. But that also means that they never intended to let people on this rock. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna make it, but just barely. The audio is scaring me, man. Like, this is so cool. so pretty i don't know how to commentate to this like it's so cool and i don't know really how to how to talk about it it's just such a it's a unique experience like look at this look at that that's such a beautiful thing i just, just took that out of the photo that's gonna be a great thumbnail <clears throat> that's how i get my thumbnails by the way like what's this because it's so cool I keep hearing things and it's scaring the hell out of me. Oh, it's those things? Okay, let's listen to this. The more I see these bitches, the more they all remind me of the arcs. Not that I was really on an arc, of course, but I kinda was. She survived the arcs, escaped to Earth, ascended into
into being a primal wow. energy created me. It's a lot for a hologram to live up to, if I'm being honest. But if you ever wonder how the Genesis simulation scores your personality and transfers it into a body, it's an early version of the Pepe used in all those dino infested arcs up in orbit. So in case you didn't know Arc lore, even though I think I've described it a lot by now, uh, the Genesis simulation is as it states. It's a simulation. This is all fake. But we all came from these things called the Arcs, which is where the game got its name, Arc Survival. And everyone... I don't really remember... I don't know the lore too well. I'm not explaining this like I know everything, by the way. I'm explaining this as the opinion of someone who thinks I got everything, but this is all I know. So the arcs, like all the other maps, Scorched Earth, uh, Extinction, those are all arcs. They're different planets and different worlds that I believe were getting corrupted by element. And I believe that you are on those Earths, completely naked, completely confused, as I believe trying to fix the corruption. Don't question that. And because in... What's the story? In Extinction, you... Oh my gosh, that scared me. You see the corruption in the wastelands if you have played extinction you know what i'm talking about and so that's the lore and then at the end of extinction after you kill the final boss you get you see this lady named helena and she which by the way is i think named after the bot or like the bot was named after her and you see that there's a whole other world out there that these aliens have been keeping from you by the way the aliens are just like us but they have ascended, quote-unquote. Um, apparently, they have become higher beings of power. And so they believe that they're not better than everyone else, but they believe that they have unlocked something that humans didn't. And anyway, in doing so, they bring you, who have survived the arcs. You've lived on those arcs, and you survived them. They bring you up here, and they put you in a simulation. I assume to just further strengthen your abilities to test and that's why there's glitches the glitches are supposed to be like problems in the code and whatnot which is a cool concept but i feel like it's eh. it's just another collectible to add storyline i feel like if you want the most storyline you pl honestly you have to play all of them the whole i own every arc dlc uh that has came out because i'm a nerd and apparently i have nothing better to spend my money on and so, I bought all the DLCs. I've played a lot of them. I think the one that I haven't played... The one that I'd say I've played the least is Gotta Be Aberration. Which is surprising, because when I saw Aberration... Like, what is the sound? What is the sound? But when I saw Aberration, it was such a cool thing that I thought I was going to play that one the most. But surprisingly, I'd say the one that I played the most of has either got to be Extinction with my friend... Or Scorched Earth with my friend. Those two are so much fun. Scorched Earth was one of those... I got it because I thought it looked cool. I wanted the wyverns. I thought they were cool. By the way, I did buy them in order. <laughs> I'm such a nerd. Um, and playing those were a ton of fun. And I think that they are great for anyone who is looking for some fun entertainment. I'd recommend very highly to play it with a friend. If you have any like myself i know some people have a hard time making friends and i say i know how you feel but i don't i have been pretty good at making friends i don't know what that is about me that's okay at it maybe it's just i find the internet gives me a a confidence i don't like talking to people in real life and that's probably really wrong and you probably should never feel this way but i don't like talking to people in real life uh and I feel, I was going to say that that transcends into the gaming world, but that's not true at all. I talk so much, as you can tell with me doing these YouTube videos, that I talk a ton, and it doesn't end. It's just, I feel myself on the computer, on the internet, because I feel like I can let my, my worries and struggles go and just enjoy. And that's what I do. I enjoy myself so much to the point of pure enjoyment. Like, look at this. I'm having such a fun time. Just being able to do this and not have to worry is fun. That's what that noise is. Whatever that is, that's the noise. Oh. Okay, I understand. Dinosaurs are being spawned in. Is that the lore? That in this biome? Or is that the lore of the whole story? That the dinosaurs got here because they were summoned? 
Because you see, you hear those noises, and I just saw a beam, and then a Stegosaurus appeared. Is that how this works? They get beamed in. That's cool. That would make sense of how they just appear. We'll get this glitch, and I think we'll call the episode there. And then that's going to be one of the final episodes of Ark. I can't believe it. We're on 28 today, 29 tomorrow, or next week, and then 30 the week after. So in three weeks or less, no, two weeks or less, we are done Ark Genesis. Now, I also want to make sure I'm away from everywhere, because it seems like whenever I join back, um, it seems that my god mode gets turned off, and I don't want that to happen again, because that could have went south real quick. Get me up here, baby. Yeah, that's it. Alright, let's listen to this. Okay. She got it into her head to build pillars all over the place. Not to hold up a roof or anything. Just pillars. Out in the middle of nowhere. The stupid human instinct. Leaving your mark on the world. I just wish she'd clean up after herself. It's so cool. The little dialogues. It's such a fun game, man. I'm gonna go down here, I think. And find a nice cool spot so that I can join back and not die. Because I don't know if the radiation... Since I have a radiation suit on, I picture I'll be fine. So this counts as in the shadows? Okay. Well, if you guys enjoyed, hit the like button down below. If you like what you see, consider subscribing. I post every single day. And I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Peace, peace, peace. Thanks for watching.